Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Milana, and I love making videos about makeup, fashion, tanning. If you love any of those things, you're in the right place. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Show me some love. I post three times a week, so you do not want to miss out on that. But for today's video, we are going to be comparing the Bali Body Ultra Dark Self Tanning Mousse versus the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Ultra Dark. So both of them are ultra dark. They both have a similar undertone to them, which is why I wanted to compare the two. This one is about, I think it's close to $10 more expensive than this one, and it has... This one has 6.7 ounces and this one has 4 ounces. So less in this one than there is in this one. This one is more expensive. So I want to see which one, in my opinion, looks better. Again, just like my last comparison video, I'm not going to tell you which one's which. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys to guess. But if you would like to see my comparison slash review of the Bali Body and the Loving Tan self tanners. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. So for this video, I'm going to be using my Tarte mitt. It's double sided. So I'll do one half of my body with one side and then the other half with the other side, just so that I'm not contaminating the mixture. So like I said, I'm not going to tell you guys which one is which. We're going between the Loving Tan and the Bali Body Self Tanners. They both have a very similar undertone to them. I really, really liked how natural the tan for both of these looked, but I wanted to compare them because their undertone was so similar. I wanted to see if there were any differences between the two, which one looks darker. They both claim to be ultra dark, so I wanna see which one ends up actually being ultra dark. So we will see, and then we'll see which one is more streak-free. If I notice anything in either of them, I'll tell you right now from both videos that I filmed for them, I didn't notice anything. They were both really good. So this is going to be a legit competition. I'm going to start on my left side, work my way over to my right side. I'm not going to tell you which is which, so stay tuned until the end of the video to find out. But let's just get started. from the first half now I'm gonna do the other side and I just realized that I'm probably gonna contaminate the brush a little bit because I only have this one that I use for tanning but that's okay my arms and my stomach and my legs will be the biggest determiner of what I like better anyways so I'm gonna move on to the other tan. Alright, this is what I look like after applying to my face, my chest, and my arms. I definitely see a difference between the two. I think they're the closest compared to all the other self tanners that I've tried in color as far as the undertone goes, but there's definitely a difference between the two. Right now I kind of have a feeling of which one I think is going to be darker, but we'll see. I don't know how much you guys can tell the difference between the two, but I definitely see that it's there. I especially noticed in my face as soon as I started applying. But now that I've done all this, we're gonna move on to my legs.
as you can see, they definitely are showing a difference. This one looks a little bit darker. This one looks lighter. So we will see how that turns out tomorrow. But now that I have done my upper half and my lower half, I'm going to finish the rest of me. I'm not going to do a second coat this time. I think since I've done only two coats each time I've worn both of these tans, I think I should try out just doing one coat to see how they turn out with only one. So we're going to do it a little differently this time. I'm going to go finish applying to the rest of me. It's pretty late at night, so I'm probably going to sleep on this. And then once I'm up in the morning, I'll wash this off. And then I will check in with you guys to give you my final thoughts. Alrighty guys, it is the next day. This is what my tans look like. All developed, settled in. I showered, rinsed them off. So this is the final product. I don't know if you can tell a difference. I can tell. This is definitely more of a slight difference than the last comparison video that I did, which was between the Bali Body and the Bondi Sands self tanners. So these are a lot more similar. They're very, very, very similar to each other. Like you can barely tell the difference in color. Before I get into my final thoughts though, I am gonna give you guys five seconds. I'm gonna hold up the Loving Tan and the Bali Body and I'm gonna have you guys decide, make sure to comment down below and tell me which one you think is which. I'm giving you five seconds and then we're going to reveal it. So five seconds, one, two, three, four, five. My left side was the loving tan and my right side was the Bali body. If you guessed right, congratulations. If not, that's okay. So as far as deciding which one I like more, I really, really liked how both looked. There's a slight, slight difference in undertone between the two. And to be totally honest with you, I don't know. I really, really like how both look. Like, I feel like the Bali body side is giving me more of that kind of olive -y kind of more neutral, I guess. Tan, and then the Loving Tan side is giving me more of a golden tan. I know that one claims to be olive, but at least on me, I feel like it's giving off a more golden kind of tan. So that is the biggest difference that I noticed between the two. Neither of them were streaky at all. The only thing I'll say is that the Bali Body one went on a little bit nicer on my hands. I don't know if you could see here, but there's like a really noticeable line that was separating my tan and the palm of my hand and on this side it didn't do that. I applied as similarly as I could to both sides so I just think this side went on better on my hand but everything else honestly just looks exactly the same. One thing that I will say, I know I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I was going to talk about which one's darker. They both claim to be ultra dark but I do think that the Bali body was a little bit darker. So the Bali body is still winning in the department of which one is actually the most ultra dark. It's not a huge difference, like I said, but especially on my legs, I can tell. The undertones, like I said, are different, but just the Bali body is overall darker. You could barely, barely see the difference on my arms, but you could just tell that this is darker than this. So <laughs> as far as that goes, I'd probably choose the Bali Body for uh, darkness. But other than that, they're very, very, very similar. This one is messier, I would say, especially this bottle. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's really, really messy and it leaks a lot. And that doesn't happen as often with the Bali Body one. As far as price goes, like I said in the beginning of the video, this one is about $10 more expensive than this one. This one has more product in it. And I honestly think that this one is more worth the money. It costs less, you're getting more product, it gives you a darker tan, and if you like that more neutral undertone that rather than golden, then that's the one for you. 
both really really good tans the loving tan comes in a very very close second i might have to do the loving tan versus the bondi sands to see which one because the bondi sands is also one of my favorites so that'll be the determiner of which one is in second place but as for right now bali body is still number one in my heart for self tanner it's so good i'm almost out so i'm gonna have to repurchase it but for smells, I didn't talk about smells yet. They both have a very similar smell. You're gonna get that fake tan smell no matter what. The stickiness of them was about the same. One wasn't really stickier than the other. This one applied darker initially, and then as it started developing, I felt like the Loving Tan started to look darker. And then this morning when I woke up, the Bali Body ended up actually being darker, so just the way that they develop is a little bit different, but at the end of the day, Bali Body is darker. Like I said, no streaks, and I only did one coat of both of them, so I feel like they both made me pretty dark, even with just one coat. So you can definitely get away with just doing one. You don't have to go all out and do two. Honestly, I love the color that I have right now with one coat, so I'm super happy with both. But of course, Bali Body is the winner to me because it's just so, so good and it's not too expensive. It's just definitely, definitely worth it in my opinion. But that's all I've got for you guys. I hope you loved this video comparing the Bali Body and the Loving Tan Ultra Dark Self Tanners. Make sure to comment down below, like I said, let me know what you thought about this. Let me know which one you like better or if there was anything specific about either tan that you would like to know that I'm missing. Make sure to give the video a huge thumbs up. I love doing these self-tanner videos for you guys and it lets me know that you're loving them too. Share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. That also really lets me know that you're loving what I'm doing. I post three times a week so you definitely don't want to miss out on an upload. But that's it. I will see you guys in the next video.